This video will show how easy it is to create a working click and move application. Open a new project. Select the template for One Axis with Can Open Network from the drop down menu. The template project already contains a virtual axis, an HMI screen, and a main function block diagram. Here, you can see and edit the project description file. Let's rebuild the project to generate executable code. The Run All button launches the Virtual Axis, the Motion Control application, and then the Click and Move HMI application. Enable the drive and start motion. The next step is to add another motion control function block to your project. Close the application and open your CM main function block diagram. Use the mouse wheel to zoom and press it for dragging. Add an MC Move Absolute Function Block. Then add an input port and name it Return Position. By connecting the execute input to the previous function block, this new second motion will follow the first one. Use the show command to highlight the pin and net to verify a connection. Add an input port and name it return position. Use the right-click menu to provide motion parameters and connect the axis reference by using the net labeled Axis 1. Name the input port. Perform a syntactic check of all the connections in the diagram. The Click and Move HMI type interface is already specified for all input and output ports. You are now ready to recompile and run your new project. Now, let's launch the application again. Drag and drop an up-down control object on your screen and assign your new input port to it from the list. Set the number format and label in the Objects Properties tab. Add a bar graph object to represent linear motion.
set the minimum and maximum values. For this example, we'll set it to plus or minus 5 revolutions. Start the debugger and set reduced screen. Function block operation can be observed in the debugger. Now you're ready to experiment with your newly created application. Finally, switch the virtual axis to a real AMC servo drive. This CAN channel function block represents the CAN communication channel. Change the settings in the CAN channel property file according to the real CAN card device. The same settings can also be changed using the Tools field bus settings menu from the desktop. Make sure that node ID is equal to 1 and the baud rate is set to 1000 in the real AMC servo drive. Now observe operations on the HMI screen and on the embedded video recording.